Just some extra stuff. I don't know if I'll need it. So I did a music video to the tune of Elvin Bishop's Fooled Around and Fell in Love. And it's basically a love story about the day I discovered weighted blankets. That's where we are in life right now. Okay, I guess I'm doing this. I think maybe I've achieved 95% mastery on the awkward thing at this point. Well, I mean, it could get more awkward. What would make this more awkward? Ooh, rolling around in it. All right, we'll get that on take three. I'm doing something different today, guys. I'm going off script and I'm shooting for 80% because most of you don't really notice the extra 20% and because the very problem slowing me down right now as a content creator is perfectly encapsulated by this quote in Atomic Habits by James Clear. You do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. And my systems suck. Am I recording right now? Oh, I need that louder. It pains me to say that because I definitely know better. And yet as someone who has chosen video editing as a profession, I'm acutely aware that I have the knowledge, but not always the wisdom to practice what I preach. What do you think, glasses or no glasses? I feel like glasses. Because if I'm being honest, the fun part for me is the polish. I live for the polish, the tinkering of the details. I wanna get lost in those weeds. Random bug here. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I want to make absurd musical jokes about weighted blankets and commit so fully to the punchline that you don't even care if the joke lands because the real adventure is watching an extremely awkward woman fumble through the process. I gotta be rolled up in it. Oh God, what am I doing? And maybe what emerges will surprise you or teach you something or bring a little levity to a world fueled by conflict. Sometimes your soul just needs a palate cleanser. At least mine does. I hope the camera's catching this. But here's the unique problem that I'm grappling with as an editor. I'm never really done with a project. I just eventually reach a point where I have to tie a pretty little bow around it and hope it's received well. Cause once I get lost in those weeds, I don't come out for weeks. I'm at peak decision fatigue right now. And I either have to pump the brakes completely or get comfortable simplifying. YouTube doesn't grade you on the five extra hours you spent wrapping light around your body. YouTube is a hungry, hungry hippo and the taste tastiest dish you can serve it is consistency. But for those of you that watch for the educational value and the terrible jokes, I don't think this represents a huge compromise. Giving more of a spotlight to the unscripted moments also meets another objective, getting comfortable with discomfort. It's actually really hard to roll around in this. Here's what I've realized. All the ways I seem to struggle in life seem to have the same connected thread, a theme, if you will. It's called shame. See, what you're watching right now is a woman that appears to be very comfortable with her cringe. One might even say shameless. But just below the surface is a heart that spent a lifetime in a holding pattern of avoidance, fiercely guarding against any threat to its most fragile pieces. I used to think that was called emotional safety, but I also used to think Pluto was a planet. Guys, they lied to us. I'm still not over it. Quick sidebar, but I hope the somber and serious tone of this message is not distracting you from the fact that you're watching an entire romance play out between a woman and a blanket. I flew around, I flew around. What is Yoda doing here? I'm giving you picnics and playful teasing and really heavy hugs. The whole thing is a joke, but the sweat is very real. So if you're enjoying any part of this, give that like button a cozy nudge. I appreciate you. Anyway, back to my problems. If shame is the problem of my life, then the solution must be its polar opposite. Not running and hiding from the thing that scares me, but instead making a bid for its friendship, sitting with it embracing it. So while it might seem kind of strange that someone so sensitive and socially awkward would want to be seen in such an exposed way, knowing that criticism will follow, that not everybody's gonna get it, I think the best thing you can be in this world is you. It's the price of admission we all must pay if we want more meaningful connection in our lives. I don't think we're ever too old to play, and I don't think we're ever too old to self-examine. Wow, that got unexpectedly deep. Still killing it with this blanket though. Anyway, that's my message for you today. Can we get to the fun part now? All right, guys, I think that's all I can do. It is so hot in here. <sighs> I hope this works.
so I wanted to have some light wrapping around me in some of these shots just to give it kind of a cool vibe. I'm trying to figure out where the trail should start. I want to follow the general movement of my arms here. I'm going to go up to my effects and presets panel and find my Saber plugin. This is a free plugin offered through Video Copilot. It gives you so many cool options. If you do any kind of particle work or visual effects or anything like that, they give you a ton of presets, fire, energy, smoke. You can change the color, the intensity of the glow, the size of the glow, the spread of it. Yeah, it's super fancy. When you first apply this effect, it will default to Saber. But if you want it to follow a path, like a mask, then you want to set it to layer masks. And that's what I've done here. Here's the starting place, right? And then maybe it wraps through my arm and goes around my neck. I don't know what that looks like. Let's just play. You can animate the start and the end offset. So if we want this to take a little bit longer, we'll just move this keyframe out. Uh, it almost needs to be done right here. This is where we get stuck in the weeds. I do want to make this mask a little more rounded on the end though. A lot of it's just trial and error. Let's see what that gives us. Ooh, I don't hate it. Let's do another one. Well, I don't know what this move is. Like I'm driving a car somewhere. What do we think? Is it too many clashing things? It might be too much. I'm just dazzled by the glow and the lights. These are some of my pre-made animated elements that I've created. Maybe I'll make a pack at some point if you would find some value in that. Maybe I'll put something together. Ooh, what do we have for fireworks? What did I do for fireworks? I don't even remember. Okay, wait a minute. Idea. What if we did this? Let's have this element line up at the end point here. I want it to be kind of subtle. What else do we have? Let's throw another one in here. Why not? Scoot this into place. Boom. I wonder if anybody will notice the Easter egg of Yoda riding my <laughs> dogs and plushie in the background. What's this? Ooh, that's kind of cool. So we'll drag and drop that into our timeline. Oh, does it hit the fly? It looks like it's hitting the fly. So let's move that into place. I'm getting too picky now. A question I ask myself at least 50 billion times with every project, is this too much? A music video about weighted blankets. I hope you like the final product. Awkward and out. <laughs>